Every year, 800,000 tons of so-called single-use plastic bags are being used in the European Union. The average European citizen used 191 of them in 2010. The commission says and only 6% were recycled. More than 4 billion bags are thrown away each year. Plastic bags are used for just minutes at a time, but then can take a thousand years or more for them to completely break down, causing serious harm to the environment as well as communities and businesses. When resources are not being utilized at maximum efficiency, you begin to see a market failure, which means plastic bags are a negative externality, which is a cost that is suffered by a third party as a result of an economic transaction caused by consumption. Currently, there is no law requiring that countries in Europe ban the use of plastic bags, although there are a number of countries who are working towards a complete ban on plastic bags. In this presentation, we are going to discuss how the use of plastic bags are creating negative externalities for the environment and the people in Europe. The first issue concerning the use of plastic bags is how they are creating negative externalities for the environment. Because only 6% of single-use plastic bags are being recycled, this suggests that the other 94% of single-use plastic bags are being disposed of improperly. If plastic bags are not recycled and disposed of in a proper way, they will be sent to incineration plants or, even worse case, discarded in the natural environment where they end up contributing to the land and marine pollution. Of the 260 million tons of plastic in the world produced each year, about 10% ends up in the ocean, most floating in open seas, often ending up in gyres, circular motions of currents forming conglomerations of swirling plastic trash called garbage patches, or ultimately ending up washed ashore on someone's beach. From this graph, you can see the total annual output of mismanaged plastic waste by coastal populations in 2010, and how mismanaged plastic waste will increase by 2025. Birds often mistake shredded plastic bags for food, filling their stomachs with toxic debris. For hungry sea turtles, it's nearly impossible to distinguish between jellyfish and floating plastic shopping bags. Fish eat thousands of tons of plastic each year, transferring it up the food chain to bigger fish and marine mammals. At least 267 different species have been affected by plastic pollution in the ocean, contributing to over 100,000 annual deaths of marine life. Plastic bags are also made most commonly from petroleum and natural gas, also known as fossil fuels. The burning of fossil fuels to make plastic releases harmful greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere. In the United States alone, it is estimated that roughly 12 million barrels of oil are used to make the 30 million plastic bags Americans use each year, which is about 8-10% to of their total oil supply. The burning of these oils to make plastic equates to about 300 million tons of carbon dioxide emitted to, into the atmosphere, which is the equivalent of the carbon dioxide emitted from 55 million vehicles. According to NASA, on Earth human activities are changing the natural greenhouse. Over the last century, the burning of fossil fuels like coal and oil has increased the concentration of atmospheric carbon dioxide by more than one third since the Industrial Revolution. This is the most important long-lived forcing of climate change. The next issue concerning the use of plastic bags is how they are creating negative externalities for the people in Europe. Unfortunately, the problem with this is that there is currently no sense of responsibility, ownership, or recognition in government departments worldwide. At a cost of $5,000 to $20,000 per day, it would cost between $122 million and $489 million a year just to clean one of the many garbage patches in our oceans, and that is not including the cost of equipment, disposal, or labor. From this picture, you can see how large the Great Pacific Garbage Patch were to be if it were stretched from end to end at a total of 994.193 million miles. If the government isn't going to claim responsibility for the cost of cleaning up the ocean, then the responsibility would ultimately fall onto the citizens and they would be left paying for the cleanup. Some countries in the European Union, such as Ireland, have begun taking preventative measures by implementing a plastic bag tax. A plastic bag tax requires its citizens to pay for each plastic bag they use, including biodegradable ones. 
When plastic bag tax was first introduced in Ireland, it had widespread public support, with nearly 66% of respondents supporting the introduction of a five pound charge per bag. But later on down the road, it began to create unintended consequences for Ireland's citizens. From the graph on the left, you can see the trend of plastic bag use in Ireland before the plastic bag tax and after they had implemented the plastic bag tax. On the picture on the right, you can see how Ireland planned on introducing the plastic bag tax and some of the implications that came along with it. In an article by the Irish Examiner from January 23rd, 2003, the paper had recorded that food retailers experienced a 77% increase in the sale of foot pedal bin liners. Other bin liner sales increased by 75%, which still require petroleum and natural gases to manufacture. In 2011, the United Kingdom's Environmental Agency released a report on the environmental impact, use and reuse of plastic bags and of notable alternatives such as paper and cotton bags. The report, however, classified paper bags under single use and cotton bags at 52 uses. This means that even if consumers were to be greatly educated on the issue and would, as a result, double their reuse of cotton and paper bags, then we still wouldn't break even on the environmental impact of plastic bags. In essence, this means that our use of alternative bags is actually worse for the environment than plastic. As you can see from this graph, you can see the number of times one would have to use a cotton bag to make it more environmentally friendly than a single-use plastic bag. As we can see from Europe's case, the negative externalities caused by their use of plastic bags is a growing problem. The environment is constantly being polluted with more and more plastic bags. The government is not claiming responsibility for the cleanup. The alternative products to plastic bags that are being produced are just as harmful to the environment. And the cost to reduce these negative externalities are too high for Europe citizens. There is currently no plan of action to implement any sort of solution to the problem, and raising awareness about the benefits of recycling appears to be the only option for them. Europe desperately needs to figure out an efficient solution to decrease their use of plastic bags so they can find alternative products without the added costs or negative externalities.